on a ring. Do you want it cooked right or not? Good morning, Arthur. We saw a black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. Say, Morgan. Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Are you well, sir? Sure. Excuse me? You know, <coughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure. I'll buy you some hair pomade. Guy complaining about them in town. Okay. If I find it, I'll let you know. by this campfire now. Hello, nothing, Miss Grimshaw? That's right, oh, nothing. Still. You're useless. You're worse than useless. You're a parasite. You're a worm. Ridiculous. Get ready. But I don't want to work, Miss Grimshaw. I don't feel right. I don't care what you feel, girl. Get ready! <laughs> <sighs> These girls, Mr. Morgan. It's a shame they were princesses in fairy tales. Well, it, it looks like they found their fairy godmother. Good, you're moving those. I took inventory on them just yesterday. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. All right, that's me. Done.
Whatever you mind, old man. Come, have a drink with me. Miss Karen, how you getting up? Move it. Move it! On your knee. Cancers! Give me a dime. Give me something. Hey, buddy. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad, like when your poppy passed, because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Let's go, cool, girl. Howdy.
Y'all are a bunch of flannel mouth liars. What's your problem? Sir, try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Hello. Train head up near the Lemoyne border. Move that, will you? That's the jackass I told you about. Partner, is that so? Go on and move! Yeah. Yeah, welcome. What can I do for you? Hello. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. Essential, I reckon. That's great. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving.
If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. That's more like it. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. It just ain't no way to fine tuning your gun, you know? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon store. Thanks for your assistance. Hey, watch out. Here we go. Get up now. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So... What is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Okay, girl. Mister. Howdy, friend. Come on. Yeah.
Slow up now. Easy, whoa. You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, 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 you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, are you taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Or oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. I really do not like you. I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <laughs> All right. Let's take you in.
Seem to keep blacking out. Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. You this bored? You wanna? <laughs> Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. You've asked for your end. We uh. don't understand you, more. Oh, my lord. Next time you better I wasn't be expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Please, remember what I told you. Extra, extra. All your newsworthy needs in one paper. I need a wash. You got a bath? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Stay another night if you want. Thank you. Really. Come on, girl. Good evening, partner. It's 
awful convenient is all. Yeah, well, it weren't convenient for me at the time. Oh, oh, hey, friend. Remember me? One of those latest, buy one of my papers. I won't buy it. Hey, hey Wallace. This here is the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick you out your choice of outside? item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being hey, sent straight what can I do for you? Better outside told me yeah, I could grab something right. on his tab. Oh, One doubt. with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now. Bad girl. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? 
You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Come on, girl. to say thanks i guess you've done me a service hey look the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway if you can get in that lockbox you can take what you want from it it ain't stealing if it's already stolen got that right
There, girl. You all right, girl? Yeah. Okay there. Chelonia. And what is Chelonianism? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago, the great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness to found a great We are heading, Jamie. Gentlemen! Shell of safety, shell of safety, shell of safety, shell of safety, shell of safety. Shell of safety, shell of safety. Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> I 
Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then break up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Your sister's worried about you. I don't have to answer to you. Uh, sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Get up. Just stop and let's talk about this. I was doing just fine by myself. We gotta do this the hard way. This is none of your damn business. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yeah. You pop up out of nowhere? What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Yep. Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. To 
too well, apparently. Shimonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. That's the jackass I told you about. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? I reckon you've already made enough trouble around here, don't you? Make it quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall.
Harden left town last night. Took that door with him. Shit! First Ready time, mister. I had bad beats and I had Hello? You ain't worth two oh, shits shit. whole damn lot here. You worth What do you have? No brawling this time, all right? No, oh, I'm on my best behavior. I shot 19 of them once. Well, Buffalo, no Redskins. Good evening. Going on. How many Redskins? Yeah, how are you? Bud? Hey, some food. Can I get a meal? They weren't Christians, so I sent them to Why don't hell. you leave folk around here alone? You should have thanked me. Evening, mister. There's that son of a bitch. That right. Evening. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Work won't do itself. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Morning. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. We've had about enough of you around here. The gun store? Yep. Can you, uh... Head in, pick up a sniper rifle. I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here.
Sure. Let's go. Okay, my girl. We ain't want no more of your trouble. Yep. Yeah. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. This way, Arthur. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not until we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Easy there. I'll move it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
I think we got them all. Let's head for town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Easy there, girl. 18%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, well, we never really was.
Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Dress up here, girl. Not everything, but After in the you, end, sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Mapo. Where have you been? Orkin. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! <sighs> Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, you I... depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be. Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Fresh! 
shut up! You can talk. We all heard you whine about a little nick from... But you shut... Kill these bastards! Sure, nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp and we'll have his terrifying wound tended to. Ugh. Sure. Just don't bleed out on us. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> oh. yeah. Come on, move up. All right.
to hear that chow bell. The thing is, John, the thing is, we all gotta die. I know that. I, of all people, know that. Excuse me? We all gotta die, but you got the chance to live. Not just to live, to live for love. Arthur will tell you, we all gotta die, but love, love is the thing, the only thing. I got... No goddamn clue what you're on about, Hosea. You're not as dumb as you act, John Marston. I don't understand. Be a man, John. It would suit you. You both are acting real strange right now. I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. Hi, Dutch. Hey, Arthur. Mr. Morgan! How's it going? All right. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it. <sighs> Can't this wait? Well, fine then.
Arthur? Easy now. here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost I am staying in strawberry if you could just guide me back can't think of a good reason to say no oh thank you thank you sir shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you your legs work don't they <sighs> well yes I suppose it's just a little demeaning What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. Uh, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss Wait. was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... Okay, now, where was I? Ah, yes! Turns out I was made the fool! Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. 
And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub. The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes, this does look familiar. You've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Evening. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing.
Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on, you gotta try something. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Who do you sons of bitches? down, you oh. fat sack of crap! Let's 
time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, <clears throat> you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes. Brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
Slow it up. Heading east. Hello, Is that the plan? Arthur. For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, well that'd be nice. Well, Join the commune. We, we didn't even get paid for them shit. I'm gonna go back Shake there for it. That ain't us a good idea. Low. This is lying low. Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Okay, then, girl. Easy. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to, and fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. 
And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons and better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. Oh, okay. dear. Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Come on, girl. There, tracks. Come on. What's going on with you? What do you mean? 
You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Look, they go along the shore there. I see him. Anyway, you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young, a long while. A year or more. Wait, just... Let me make sure this is right. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So, you were saying? He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Careful. Whoa. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe Get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Hey, Kilmer! Three coming right at us! You get the hell away from him! Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? That all of them? Doesn't look like it! That's them dealt with. You get them untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Helfen Sie mir! Bitte, lassen Sie mich gehen! It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, 
Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. So you were saying... All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there. Why did they take you? Geld. Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Ja. Yeah. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. ist klar. Vamos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, ähm. Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it.